Hi everybody, these are our directions for finding altitude using a shadow plot. Now guys, last lesson we did, we found a lot of, I gave you some make-believe gnomon heights and shadow lengths, and we found out that we can find the altitudes by drawing the triangle that the shadow makes. Well, now we're going to do it for real. And all for real means is we're going to use it using actual real data, and we're going to be using our data from our shadow plots that, I hand, that I'm handing out in class. And this is from 9-10-08. Uh, if this doesn't look, if this looks like gibberish to you, you need to go into last week and look at the movie for how we make these. Um, but hopefully you've seen that in class and you get an idea of why this uh, looks the way it does. At any rate, you're going to most, mostly on this, you've got a few questions to answer. These are all review. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to find just a whole bunch of altitude for the different times. And it's going to require you to use your ruler and actually measure some shadow distances to specific times and then draw the triangle. Now, the one thing that's tricky on this that we didn't run into last time is since it's real, remember that gnomon that was poking up through there is only two centimeters tall. Two centimeters is not much. And some of these have really short shadows, like, like under two centimeters even. So the, the, the small size <coughs> excuse me, of these triangles can sometimes give us some trouble. So I'm going to show you what at least I would do with the small uh, triangle uh, if I was going to draw it. So I'm going to do a make-believe size one right now, but that has uh, some shadow sizes that are similar to what you, you'll see. So I'm going to do it. Let's say I measured the shadow length as 2.8 centimeters and the gnomon height is written on it the gnomon height is two centimeters and that's for the all day everything on here is two centimeters that means you can go right down this whole row and put two centimeters in there because the gnomon height never changes at any rate, though, back to drawing this triangle. This is going to make a really small triangle. And the problem with really small triangles is they don't fit very well on our protractors. So to keep from doing that, I'm going to just go ahead and make a line that's like about eight centimeters long. And so I'll just make that eight. But remember that my actual shadow length that I want to draw is 2.8 centimeters. So I'm gonna to come to 2.8 centimeters and I'm gonna make a little mark right there. And then I'm gonna draw my two centimeter uh, gnomon. So I'm gonna go like that. So remember, I've got a 2.7, uh, eight centimeter shadow. And I wanna put that right there because I could screw this up and make a triangle that way. But that really isn't the triangle we need to draw. Now I've got 2.8 centimeters here. I've got two centimeters here, which is the height of my gnomon. And now I can connect these and I'm going to connect them like this. And in doing it this way, I've got a 2.8 centimeter shadow. I have a two centimeter gnomon, but mostly I have a nice big triangle that will fit on my protractor so I can get an, a, a, a good measure. You can see that the actual shadow triangle doesn't even come out to the numbers on the protractor, which is why we want to draw them this in this manner. Now, some of the triangles you'll get on here are going to be big enough you won't have to do that with. Obviously, the ones that are out here at the extremes have pretty long shadows, and you don't need to worry about it. But these guys in the center here where you have these really short shadows, you're going to probably want to draw these in this manner right here. Okay? And other than that, it's just, again, like we did last time, drawing a bunch of triangles and measuring them with your protractors. And this time you'll need your rulers for not only drawing some lines, but making some measurements as well. Okay? And that's it for today's lesson. Thanks for watching.